Hall H at San Diego Comic Con for Marvel Studios just concluded, so let's talk about it. So one of my favorite parts of San Diego Comic Con is Hall H, and one of my favorite studios that takes part in Hall H is Marvel Studios. And oh my gosh, I just loved all the information that we got this year from Marvel Studios. Right before the presentation had started, a smokescreen had appeared over the stage for some dramatic effect. But as the panel started, we got a live performance of Like a Prayer from Deadpool and Wolverine. I saw a couple videos dedicated to the performance and it looked so much fun. After the performance, the GOAT himself, Kevin Feige, finally appears on stage. And like with all of Kevin Feige's appearances, I gotta look at what kind of hat he is wearing because it is gonna have to do with something that he is gonna be talking about. From the looks of things, he's wearing an Avengers logo hat, but when you look closer, it looks like there's some superhero logos around the A. I'm not really sure what characters they represent, but here's hoping it's the new Avengers lineup. With the presentations this year, first off, we get more information to Captain America Brave New World with the cast appearing on stage. We get a few interviews from everybody about this movie, like Kevin Feige stating that this movie is going to be a very grounded story like The Winter Soldier. Tim Blake, aka Mr. Blue, aka the leader from The Incredible Hulk, states that he thinks that they've written a great story for his character in this movie. We finally got word on who Giancarlo Espinosa's character is going to be in this movie, and apparently he's going to be playing the Serpent King Sidewinder in this movie. He stated that nobody guessed right about who he was playing in this movie, and he was right. I did not guess that. We get a couple of clips dedicated to Harrison Ford's character, President Ross, and he talks to Sam about how he wants to form the Avengers, and he also brings up Antimanium and how it's from the Celestial growing out of the Earth. Yep, that's right, we're finally getting Antimanium, guys. Oh my gosh, I'm just so hyped. And the other clip we got of the movie is Harrison Ford turning into the Red Hulk while giving a speech in front of the White House. Oh my gosh, I've waited so long to see Red Hulk and I'm so ready to see him in this movie. We also see Harrison Ford appearing on stage giving his own Red Hulk roar. Man, I'm just so ready to see him playing Red Hulk. After the talk about Captain America Brave New World, we start to hear some information about the Thunderbolts. The cast walks on set where we get our first look to Red Guardian's new suit and may I say, I really like the design to this suit. He does get mad at the rest of the cast members though because he's the only one dressed up for Hall H. Sebastian Stan says that Florence Pugh stands out the most in this movie. Julia Louis-Dreyfus also gives us a little bit more information about what Valentina is like in this movie. She states she, Valentina, is after power, control, and I would say just generally she wants it to kick ass in the Marvel Universe. Apparently, Lewis Pullman plays coy about who he's playing in this movie and just states that he's going to be playing some character named Bob. Some people are expecting him to be playing Bob the Hydra agent, but most people, including myself, are expecting him to be playing Sentry. Why Russell states that everybody's gonna freaking love him in the Thunderbolts. We also get our first look to the Thunderbolts through a behind the scenes portion showing us some of the stunts behind this movie. And we also got our first trailer and discussing films gives us this information about what the trailer is like. Apparently in this trailer, Yelena visits Red Guardian's apartment calls him dad, says uh, that she has found uh, the only reason for her to live is killing others, Ghost has a brand new costume, and all the Thunderbolts are individually assigned to the same job, but it's a setup. Even though I don't have all that much information to this movie yet, I am still very intrigued with the plot of what I've been given so far. After the Thunderbolts were given some information to the Fantastic Four, which I'm so happy we're getting some more information to this movie. Apparently, the movie will officially begin filming this Tuesday. The movie will also be staying very true to the comics. And Fantastic Four is described as a set in a retro-futuristic version of the 60s. Apparently, Matt Shackman says I had to go all the way out to the desert to find the best rock suited for the thing's design. Everything that was shown for the Fantastic Four stuff in this panel was said to feel very much like something that came from the 60s. 
And people have also said that Pedro Pascal's Reed Richard had an old school accent to him while teaching a class. Apparently the Fantastic Car is gonna be an old Cadillac that looks straight out of the Jetsons. And we even have a brand new title for this movie and it's called The Fantastic Four First Steps. I have some mixed feelings on the title of this movie like it'll probably grow on me in the future. But personally I think the title sounds very similar to X-Men First Class. But I think this title works too because this is The Fantastic Four's First Steps in the MCU officially. Michael Giacchino will be doing the score for this movie. We finally get the full cast of the Fantastic Four on stage together. Oh my gosh, that's just so awesome to see finally. We got some early footage of Galactus peering his face in a building, and it's stated that he's very clearly a giant cosmic entity. I'm just wondering, how big is Galactus gonna be in this movie though? Like, is he gonna be just as big as the Celestial we saw at the end of Eternals? And as the Fantastic Four portion of the panel is about to finish, we get this inflatable version of the Fantastic car just flying it through Hall H. And it was also confirmed that the Fantastic Four will indeed appear in both Avengers films. And speaking of the Avengers films, the Avengers films are how we end off the information for Hall H this year. First off, the Russo brothers are confirmed to be returning for these next two Avengers movies. As you can see, they appear on stage with Kevin Feige about to reveal the big information that we have been waiting for in this panel. One of the things we learned about towards the end of this panel was the official logo for Avengers Secret Wars releasing on May 2027. But by far the best information that we got from this panel was the new title for Avengers 5. And that is Avengers Doomsday releasing on May 2026. Now, you may be looking at this title, Avengers Doomsday. Oh, look at that green. Oh, could that mean? And yes, if you're thinking of Doctor Doom, that is the case. We are getting Doctor Doom in the MCU. But you are never going to guess who is playing him. Apparently, Robert Downey Jr. will be returning to the MCU playing Doctor Doom, who will now be the main villain of the next two Avengers movies. Robert Downey Jr. even makes a surprise entrance in Hall H dressed up as Doctor Doom. Now personally, I made it very clear that I want the multiverse saga to finish out with Kang because I feel like if you start out on Kang, you should at least finish it off with Kang. But, I am still very intrigued and pretty hyped up with the fact that we are getting Doctor Doom in the next two Avengers movies. And not only that, but the fact that he's played by Robert Downey Jr., the guy who played Iron Man, the guy who started off the whole MCU, and is now playing the main villain of the next two Avengers movies, is just, oh my gosh, that is just so good. I can already imagine the shock of the current Avengers faces when they face off with Doom, realizing that this guy looks just like with Tony, like what kind of turmoil is that gonna lead to? I personally would have liked to see Doctor Doom be the main villain of the third MCU saga, but again, I'm still very satisfied with us getting Doctor Doom and with him being played by Robert Downey Jr., and I'm very interested to see how he's going to be replacing Kang as the new main villain of the multiverse saga. And I'm also very curious to know how the MCU is going to be building up to the threat of Robert Downey Jr.'s Doctor Doom with Secret Wars releasing in just three years. Actually, no, two years because of Avengers Doomsday. One of the reasons why Thanos was such an intimidating villain was because the MCU was building up towards his character. So with there not being all that much time to build up towards Doctor Doom's character, I wonder how they're going to make him as intimidating as Kang with them building up his threat with all the way back in Loki Season 1. But yeah, even though we didn't get a whole ton of information from All Age this year, I'm very satisfied from what we got from the information this year, and I just cannot wait for the upcoming coming projects that we're going to be seeing in the coming years. Anyway, go down to this kind of tell me what your favorite information was from Marvel Studios time at Hall H was from this year. Share this video with all your friends. And click that like, follow button, and kill the thumb content.